Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful coffee cake. It's absolutely delicious and it's super moist, so stay tuned. I'm going to start with one cup flour. Then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Whisk the dry ingredients together. All the ingredients and measurements are listed below in the description box. This Kerrygold brand, it is so delicious. It's grass-fed, it's European. If you love butter, you need to try this one. So we are going to be using half cup butter or eight tablespoons. So in my mixer, I'm going to be putting these eight tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to add one cup of sugar to the butter. Then I'm going to add two eggs. I'm gonna add the eggs one at a time. So that's the first one. And then I am going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And add the second egg. I'm gonna scrape down some of the sides. So now to this, I'm going to add the dry ingredients, which is the flour from earlier. So now for the secret ingredient, which is sour cream. I'm going to add half a cup of sour cream. This is going to make the cake so moist and delicious. So this is what it looks like when it's all mixed up. You want to be sure not to over mix the cake. So for the cinnamon streusel, we have 3 4 cup of brown sugar and we have 1 and 1 3rd cup of all-purpose flour. So to this I'm going to add one tablespoon of cinnamon. Then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm gonna mix this streusel. So after that's mixed I'm going to add three-fourth cup of melted butter. And be sure that you're mixing this with a fork. You're gonna mix it just until clumps form. This is what this juice should look like. It could be a little more powdery, but this is good. So we're gonna grease this nine by nine pan with some butter. We're gonna use that same delicious Kerrygold butter from earlier. I'm just gonna use my hands for this because it's easier. Okay, so this is the pan. So to assemble the cake, I'm gonna start with half of the batter down. I'm gonna put some of the streusel in the middle and then I'm gonna put the remaining batter and then some streusel on top. So it's important to make sure you keep half of your batter. I just spread an even layer. Now I'm gonna add half of the streusel on top. If you guys are liking this recipe so far, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. After you're finished assembling the cake, place it in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Be sure to check back regularly to make sure it doesn't burn. Let the cake cool completely before you start cutting it. So you can really see the layers here, the crumbly top and the moist center. I'm gonna get a little taste test right now. Whoa. Mmm. This is a great cake to make if you really wanna impress your friends.